We find hypodermic needles out here all the time now. There's always yelling and screaming coming from over there. It's just not a good situation. Lee Burgos lives right near where the fire broke out last night. He says at first he used to make his water available to the homeless, but things deteriorated over time. It makes me angry that the community here that embraced them and tried to help them is now being ruined because of their inability to have proper hygiene and proper respect for the properties that surround them. Then last night, his worst fears materialized. We want them gone, but we don't know how to do it in a proper legal way or in a way that's compassionate to the plight of, I mean, they're human. Neighbor Armani Reyes believes he knows why the homeless chose to camp right outside his door. I think it's because the aqueduct or the levee or whatever it's called, uh, that it's an ease of access, you know. There's not a real big cop presence out here. He says he was scared for his home and his pets when the fire broke out, and yet he's not surprised. I wonder, you know, why it took so long for this to happen. It was kind of a thing that was building up. You see the, the camps, you see the batteries, you see them coming in and out. You know they're not wiring everything the way they should, and it was just a matter of time.